When conducting interviews, especially qualitative interviews where data are being collected, it's a good practice for interviewers to speak at a similar level to those that they are interviewing. Thankfully, we have tools that we can use to assess the grade level of all individuals by analyzing interview transcripts. To do that, we can use something called the Flesh Kincaid grade level score, and that's pretty much used to do this very thing. Now we can just do this in Microsoft Word, but the problem is without writing some code, we can't separate each person and put them in their own buckets to get their grade level. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a script in Python to do this very thing. We're gonna separate these people, we're gonna get a Flesh Kincaid score, and we're gonna get the grade level of each person. And we're gonna see if there's any key differences there. And if we do find something, it's gonna allow us to intervene and make some improvements going forward. So let's give it a go. But one thing real quick, and this is kind of important, different implementations of the Flesh Kincaid scores can give you slightly different results. You can see here that I compare text stat versus a custom score that I made from scratch. The same text is put into Microsoft Word and has a slightly different score as you can see. Knowing that there were slight differences, I asked chat GPT-4 what module would be the most straightforward for a YouTube video. And here it landed on text stat, so that was enough for me to choose text stat. Okay, let's get started for real. Alright, the first thing that we want to do is we want to import some modules, and I'm just going to show you how to get to the command prompt. And if you look to the right, you can see how to import these using pip. All right, and then we want to create a new Python file. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to File, New File. And I like to just save it in the folder right away, so I don't have to worry about that later. So go ahead and do that. And we can just call this Assess Grade. Gotta make sure you put that folder in there. Great. Hit Save. And now we got our Python file. Let's quickly look at our transcripts real quick here. So you can see this person right here, that's an interviewer, and that one is right there as well. You can see that they have a little bit of a difference in vocabulary right there. Uh, and then you can see this person who's a little bit more similar to interviewer two, not quite to the level of interviewer one. So that could be a problem. Now this one, and notice there's timestamps here too. This is a little bit different. I do that on purpose and that's fine. This isn't gonna be a problem. Look at the vocabulary of these three interviewers and then look here. All right, so that's a problem. And I have this dummy file here and there are no interviewers here. So basically what we're looking for is the beginning of a line and double colon and something like that, basically. So it could say interviewer one, it could say person one or whatever. All right. So that's our format. Let's start writing the script here. Okay, here's our code. Now we have our modules right here. This OS this is going to help us identify all of the Microsoft Word or docx files in our folder. This RE is for regular expressions, and that's right there. We're going to create a pattern, and we'll get to that in a second. This is to actually import and process the docx or microsoft word files and then text stat is what we're going to use for the flesh kincaid score there all right now what's going on right here is we are creating a function to read the docx file from the file path and that os right here is what is giving this that file path and essentially what we're doing is we're going to create a document and we're going to create a list of all the paragraphs text in the document and then we're going to join them all together into one single string and then we're going to eventually separate these all right so in detail what's going on here is we're separating the different sections based on the speaker and we're using regular expressions that's this thing right here basically looking for a pattern uh, where there might be a speaker name followed by a colon possibly preceded by a timestamp or number in brackets so you kind of saw that pattern. You saw how document two had a timestamp where document one and the dummy file didn't. So we're looking for that pattern right here. If your pattern's a little bit differently, easiest thing to do if you don't know regular expressions, just ask ChatGPT to help you create a formula. So much easier than uh, looking it up and spending half hour. And so what's going on is it's gonna iterate through each line of text. If it finds a line with a speaker name, it starts a new section. Otherwise it keeps going, it adds the text to the current speaker section. So a uh, lot of text processing going on right there. And obviously that's part of it too. All right, and then you can see this here. I think this might be kind of obvious, but what we're doing is we're searching for docx files and it's gonna create a list of those and we're gonna loop through those. And wow, we're pretty much to the end of the code already. And so, yeah, we're going through each of these right here, each docx file. We're processing it, 
And then we're applying this flesh Kincaid score right here, and we're printing the result for each speaker right there. And then this just creates a new line. So uh, you know, basically when we get all the speakers from a document, we're gonna have a break there and then we're gonna go on to the next document. So let's go ahead and run this and let's see what it looks like. Okay. All right, so a um, little bit of differences here. Uh, I'd say a slight concern there, especially this right there compared to that. When you have two interviewers with such different grade levels, it's kind of confusing, kind of sends mixed messages here. This here though, this is really not good. This is showing almost sixth grade level. This is definitely college level. And let's look at interview two again real quick here. Okay. So maybe we can do something where we can see both screens just real quick here. All right, so just kind of look side by side there. Uh, you know, using words like multifaceted, uh, you know, juxtaposed. Um, <laughs> and then you kind of look down here like, hi, I think telehealth is pretty cool. Uh, you know, so there's quite a difference in the gray level there. And so to make sure that you get high quality results, you probably want to ask questions at a similar level as the research subject. If the people you interview don't understand your questions, you're not going to get very rich data. So that's pretty much it. There's lots of ways to do this. Uh, you can do this in R. There's other modules too. I just went by what ChatGPT said. And honestly, I like TechStat better anyway uh, than the other ones. Uh, it's a well-supported package. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know if you'd like to see more like this, especially with, you know, interview transcripts. There's so much we can do to analyze. So have a good one. Thanks for subscribing and take care, everyone.